Uh, Western Copper and Gold has one asset, the Casino Copper Gold Project located in the Yukon. Uh, the Casino Project is a large copper gold project, 18 million ounces of gold, 10 billion pounds of copper. We've been developing this project for the past 10 years, um, has a full bankable feasibility study, and at $3 copper and $12.50 gold, this project has at over 22% IRR. Um, 2017 has is, is been, uh, you know, the key focus in 2017 has really been preparing our project to go into the panel review in 2018. And really there's been three key activities that we've been doing. Uh, first of all, we've been working with the First Nations and doing traditional land use studies. Uh, the second thing we've been doing, we've been reaching out to the communities. Uh, we did uh, open houses and Whitehorse and Carmax and some of the surrounding areas. But really the key thing has been the third thing and that's been really the uh, best available technology process and this is a process that came out of the government of British Columbia for tailings and really the idea is making sure that we've got the First Nations, the territorial government, the federal government and the regulatory bodies and really the Yukon in general all aligned in terms of what we're going to do with our tailings waste. That's a process that started in April of 2017 and it's going forward, uh, should be complete by mid-2018 and that's sort of the key thing because once we have that really locked down, uh, moving through the final stage of, of the permitting should be fairly straightforward. I, I really just want to bring everybody back to that announcement and I mean this was a tremendous announcement for Western Copper and Gold. We had the Prime Minister of Canada, the Premier of the Yukon Territory, several First Nation chiefs all there making an announcement for a major infrastructure package into the Yukon. I mean this was the only time that the Prime Minister of Canada has visited the Yukon and it was to make this announcement. And you know, for casino shareholders, this is fairly straightforward. It's a road to, to casino. I mean, the road in the application is actually called the Casino Road. And really more importantly, this establishes the casino project as the only copper project that has this broad government support. This is a project with the support that's good for Canada, it's good for the Yukon, and it's good for the First Nations as well. What we've seen really since the, the last part of 2016 is we've seen a couple big moves in the copper price. Uh, we saw copper go from sort of $2 to $2.50 uh, a, a little, well essentially a year ago, uh, we saw our share price move. Uh, we saw this summer copper go from sort of in the 280s over $3, which nobody thought it was going to do and we saw our share price move. So, um, you know, being a big copper project in a good location, we're very, very leveraged to that copper price. When the copper price moves up, we see that the share price of Western Copper and Gold move up as well. Uh, so when I look to 2018, I mean, we'll start off uh, with, with the company. I mean, we should be finalizing these last bits, the last key parts to, to move us into the, the final stage of permitting. Um, so that's what's going to be happening with us up in the Yukon. But really the real excitement is in the copper market. Um, you're looking at in the copper market, in the copper space, uh, you know, we sort of punched over $3. I think in 2018, we're going to see $3.54 quite easily. But more importantly, and I think more importantly for our shareholders, you really have seen very limited M&A in the copper space. I expect to see that take off. Um, you know, this was the year that we were sort of setting the table. Next year is going to be the year that we're having our feast. Mm -hmm.